Earth is currently the only planet on which known life exists, but could we survive elsewhere? As our knowledge of the galaxy continues to grow, we consider what we could do if our planet was no longer able to sustain the complex life held here on Earth. In order for humans to survive, we require food, water, air, energy and material for construction. Wherever we decide to go, we need access to these vital resources. The question is, where will we go? Since the late 1950s, when space exploration started, human technology has advanced tremendously, allowing us to explore further than ever before. Voyager 1, a space probe launched by NASA in 1977, has now left our solar system and is the first ever man-made object to enter interstellar space. Scientists have found planets that are very similar to Earth, however almost all of them are hundreds of light years away. A planet called Gliese 581d has been discovered in the Libra constellation. It has been given the title of Super Earth due to having very similar conditions to our own Earth, but also being larger. While Earth will become uninhabitable within the next 3 billion years due to the sun expanding, Gliese will stay in its habitable zone for an estimated 55 billion. This planet is still 20 light years away however, so it could take 90,000 years to reach with current technology. If we can't reach planets outside our solar system for the current time, and we assume the most common choice of Mars would also become too hot due to the sun expansion. Two moons belonging to Saturn and Jupiter have caught our eye due to water vapour being seen shooting out from beneath the surface. Europa, one of Jupiter's 67 moons, is believed to have an underground ocean covered with layers of thick ice. If there is only water underneath, access to materials and other resources would be scarce. There are also many dangers on Europa, such as large ice quakes that cause massive amounts of water to shoot out from beneath the surface. Enceladus is one of Saturn's 62 moons and is much like Europa. The moon is covered with roughly 30 kilometers of ice and has an atmosphere about 1% of Earth's. Both moons can drop to below negative 200 degrees, so for the moment they would not be ideal. However, as the sun expands and heats up our solar system, they may become more acceptable options. Transportation is another important aspect that we would need to consider. The Saturn V rockets were designed only to orbit Earth and go to the moon, and they use 770,000 litres of fuel. By the time we plan to leave Earth, we are likely to have run out of fossil fuels, so a new source of energy would be required. Another problem we hit is the spacecraft itself. It would need materials that could last up to many years and survive impact from debris. If we really needed to leave Earth, raising money wouldn't be a problem, but deciding who to go would be. It could result in riots. We don't currently have the knowledge or technology to make a major move to any other place in our galaxy, so in the short term we better take care of our planet as it is the only option we have. The exploration of space has only just begun, and with new discoveries and innovations the future has so much in store. After all, the universe is just too beautiful to leave undiscovered.